New at six, a heated debate is going on right now over vaccines, but not for COVID. We're talking about childhood vaccines. The legislature's public health committee is holding a 24 hour virtual public hearing on a bill to eliminate the religious exemption. Channel three chief capital reporter Susan Raff spent hours listening. She is joining us now with what's being said today. Susan. Aaron, this is certainly an extremely controversial issue. Close to 2,000 have already signed up to testify. That hearing is going on until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some wanted to have the hearing to have no time limit so everyone would be able to speak, but that would have taken several days. So my motion is that we continue this hearing until the last person is heard, that we do not end in 24 hours. I don't see anything new about limiting the meeting except for saying ahead of time, we know when the storm's going to hit. A motion to keep going indefinitely failed, and then a firestorm of comments. Why does an infected person have the right to school, but an unvaccinated one does not? Those against childhood vaccines have been vocal. bringing their fight to the state capitol. This was last winter when they confronted lawmakers on the Public Health Committee for voting to eliminate the religious exemption. Without vaccines, their children would not be able to attend school. The only exemption would be medical. This is not a religious exemption, right? We know that major religions all support vaccinations. The only one that doesn't really is Christian scientists. Vaccinate Your Family did a survey which found 90% of Connecticut parents feel children should be required to receive vaccines. And 87% agree children should be vaccinated in order to attend schools and daycares. If lawmakers vote to eliminate the religious exemption, some say they will continue fighting. They're not going to comply with the vaccination schedule that they don't feel is right for their family. So they will end up having to have their children expelled from school. Now, data shows kindergarten classes here in Connecticut are seeing higher numbers of unvaccinated children and more religious exemptions. Some see this as a public health issue. This Zoom hearing is again expected to go straight through until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. We are told a vote could possibly come next week and then it will have to go to the full House and Senate. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.